Do you need an easy way to stay on top of and manage your daily or weekly habits so that you actually do what you intend to do? In this video, I'm gonna help you out. I am going to show you how to create a habit tracker right within Asana that is going to transform your productivity and help you achieve all of your goals, whether they are work goals or personal goals. Hi, my name is Samantha. I am all about helping you save time and mental energy in your online business. That is what my channel is all about. Every video is dedicated to that. So if that is your jam, is that if that's something you need help with, want to learn more about, be sure to subscribe to my channel and please like this video to help it get it out to more people so that I can help them save time and mental energy as well because it is much needed in the business world. <laughs> All right, let me show you how to create your habit tracker in Asana. Let's get to it. <laughs> So first, um, you're going to open a new project. If you don't know how to do that, be sure to check out my video tutorial on how to use Asana. But I'm assuming that you know how to use Asana um, already and that you're just going to be adding this project to your existing Asana organization. So you'll create that new project and then you will go ahead and start creating your sections of whatever habits you're wanting to keep track of. So maybe you want health section and then personal development, and then household. So we'll just start with those three, and then you're gonna add tasks underneath each section for things that you want to create habits of. So maybe you want to work out, you wanna go on a daily nature walk, you wanna drink eight cups of water. Okay, those, so those are some good ideas there. Under personal development, we'll just add a few tasks as well. And then for a household, Maybe you want to track your expenses, pay bills, and clean. Okay, so those are just some examples. You can obviously put anything you want in here and organize it however you would like. This is just one way of doing it. All right, so once you have your habits laid out that you want to have in here, uh, you will go ahead and set due dates for them when you want to start them. So say you want to start them tomorrow and you want to work out actually, okay, for this one, let's say you want to start on Friday and you want it to be weekly, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's a pretty common one, right? People work out three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. All right. So that is that. So what you want to do is set a due date to start and then whatever recurring pattern you want after that. So then for your daily nature walk, I'm just going to do a couple here to get it ready for you. You want to start that tomorrow and you want this one to occur daily. And then same with the eight cups of water. And then these will all be daily as well. So we will just highlight that due date tomorrow and recurring daily. All right, so we have set due dates for all of them. So now, um, okay, let me explain first why I didn't assign it to anyone. Now you can go ahead and assign this to you or to your spouse if you want to keep think, track of things for them. However, then all of these things will appear in your My Tasks to-do list. So I actually don't recommend that because it's a lot um, and these are things you're probably doing outside of work hours. So maybe you don't want them to clutter up your My Tasks section if you wanna keep that mostly work related. What I recommend doing is instead assign yourself one task per day in your my tasks as a recurring task to check in on your habit tracker. And then you come into your habit tracker and you can have it set. Once you have all of these set, you can set the default view to calendar. Um, the way you do that is by clicking these three dots here and save layout as default. And then every time you open it, it will open in the calendar mode. You can still obviously go back to list if you want to add some new ones or change the dates or whatever. Um, but every time you open it, you can view it as calendar. Okay, so you will see that you have a bunch of tasks. Oh, that's how you show the whole list, by the way, is you click the show more um, to see the entire list. So you'll see you have a bunch of things that you want to get done today. Um, so as you check them off, you'll see that they start appearing the next day because Asana, the way it lays it out for recurring tasks, um, it only shows the ones that you need to do next. It doesn't show like all the future ones on all the future days because depending where you have it and how you set, up, set it up, it could get cluttered. Um, so it just does it this way. So as you check them off, they will appear on the next scheduled day. So say we did all of those today. So then we can see we have all of them to do tomorrow, but you can also see, oh shoot, I didn't do that today. 
like tomorrow <laughs> if you go in and see oh no I didn't practice gratitude today so then you would move it to the next day you can see which ones you skipped so if you break the chain you'll see that because there will be a gap here and a really great way also to see um, to keep track of you know which one you missed is you can add um, colors to them so you add a tag by going tab t and then these are for different uh, purposes. I don't actually have them, but that's okay. So we'll we'll just create a new one. Practice gratitude. We'll just have one specifically for this. And then we can see if we had to move it to this date that we broke the chain, even though it continues here. So you can easily see if you missed a gap and you can change the colors on all of these. I won't uh, do it for each of them, but you get the idea of how that can look. And yeah, you can just do this for any habits that you want to do. And you'll see like on the first of the month, we have these two. So you can spread them out as much as you want to. I guess these aren't really habits, but whatever, that's okay. Um, you get the idea and I hope that you go and set this up for yourself. You can also um, in here, you can get rid of the, uh, you can just show incomplete tasks. Um, so it doesn't show all the complete ones because that gets really um, messy. But anyway, so I love using Asana in this way um, for personal use. I actually have like a whole bunch of personal templates. Like I use it for uh, travel planning, Christmas planning, special occasions, um, and just like all the general personal things. Um, I actually have a template bundle on my website if you want to go check that out if you want all of those templates and walkthroughs exactly um, showing you exactly how to use each of them and then they're already done for you so you don't have to actually go set this up yourself. You just easily import them into your sauna. So go check that out on my website at samanthacasbrick.com. Com. All right, I hope that was super helpful for you. Now go create your habit tracker in Asana. I would love to see it. Let me know if you do create it. I would be so happy if you showed it to me and showed me what habits you are working on. Comment the word Asana below if you wanna see more videos like this where I walk you through how, ways that I use Asana and ways that you can use Asana as well. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. <laughs>